Okay, in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Studio Devil uh, virtual guitar amp modeling plugins with Ableton Live. Now, um, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your sound interface is plugged in and powered on, and that your guitar and your uh, speakers or headphones are also plugged in and uh, powered on and ready to go. Um, and also not to forget to turn the volume knob on your guitar up. That's something that we uh, sometimes forget and then um, when we're troubleshooting and not knowing why a signal is not coming through um, we may not realize that it's actually because the, the guitar is not turned up. So make sure you have all that set up before you begin. Uh, and then we're going to launch um, Ableton Live. So uh, we have it on the dock but if you don't then you want to launch the Finder. You want to go to Applications folder and then you want to scroll down to um, uh, a folder called Live, probably if you have the latest version, Live 8 or, or something like that. And then launch the uh, Live icon uh, from there. But uh, we have it on the dock, so we're just going to launch it um, from there and, uh, and let it get started. Uh, and uh, here we are. We have uh, Ableton Live coming up. And there it is. And it automatically begins with a uh, fresh, brand new blank project. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up here to um, Live Preferences and we're going to make sure that we click on the Audio tab. That will allow us to make sure that we have the right hardware device set up. Um, so you want to make sure that you're using a core audio driver and as you can see we don't really have the right um, interfaces set up by default so we want to make sure that we choose the right interface. In this case we have a Motu Traveler plugged in and we want to use that. That's what we have our guitar and speaker set up with. So we're going to click on Motu Traveler for the input and we also want to click on Motu Traveler for the output. Now in your case um, you may have a different interface. You want to make sure that you select the right interface uh, in these options. Um, the sampling rate, it's good to use 44.1 for live because that's really um, the minimum that's really required and it's also sufficient. So anything higher than that is just kind of a waste of CPU power. Um, and then here's another thing you want to um, look into, which is the buffer size. You want to make sure that the buffer size is as small as possible. That'll keep your latency down. And as you can see, we have a latency of about 2 milliseconds, and that's very good. Anything 10 milliseconds or less is actually good enough for playing guitar live in front of your, you know, your speakers. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're done with that. Um, the other thing we want to do is we want to go down to the File Folders tab, click on that, and we want to make sure that we have Use Audio Units turned on. When Studio Double plugins are installed on your system uh, on a Mac, it installs both Audio Units and VST. We don't really need to have the VST folders turned on in order to use Studio Double as long as we have the Audio Units folder turned on. You can always have them all on if you want, but, but that's up to you. At the very least, you need to have the Audio Units turned on. And then that's it. We'll just close that out. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have signal coming in. So we're going to go right here to this record button. We're going to click on that and see if we get some signal. And that's good, we do. So you can see that when I pick on the guitar, I'm hearing the direct signal of the guitar coming through Ableton Live. Okay, uh, now what we want to do is we want to insert an effect onto this track. We want to take one of the Studio Double plugins, which you'll find here on the left in plugin devices. If this doesn't appear here, like for example if you have one of these other tabs selected, probably this one might be one that might be selected, you want to make sure that you click on this button right here which looks like a little plug. That's to pull up your plugins list. That'll, plug, uh, that'll pull up all of the plugin folders and then you want to go to the Studio Double folder and click on this arrow to open it up. And that'll list all of the Studio Double plugins that you have installed on your system. So for this demo, we'll um, put on Virtual Guitar Amp 2, and uh, we're going to see if we can get that working. So what we'll do is we'll make sure we have the track that we want to put the effect on selected, and then we can double-click on the effect that we want, and that'll automatically put it on the track. And it'll pull up the graphical user interface. So let's see how that's working. <laughs> Okay, so we can definitely hear that the effect is on. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll go over these steps again uh, as a review in a minute or two, but I just want to add that Ableton Live has a few features that are very interesting. Um, one is that you can uh, bypass or enable the effect by clicking on this button here. That's without the effect, and that's with. 
Um, you can also click on this arrow tab, which actually brings up all of the parameters of the effect and allows you to um, basically edit them with a slider. And you can see it both update on the graphical user interface. Here we're adjusting the, the base control. And you can tuck that away again by clicking on the arrow again. Um, you can also, uh, if you close the editor by accident or if you need screen space and you want to bring it back up, you can click on this small little wrench, which basically allows you to um, edit it again. And another nice feature is that you can assign two different parameters to this XY controller. Like, for example, I may want to control the, um, the base frequencies with the x-axis and the treble frequencies with the y-axis. And now when I move this little XY cursor around, you can see that it's actually controlling both knobs at the same time. It's nice when you want to try to find um, the right mix of two parameters without having to go back and forth between two controls. Or you can just do it all from one place. And that's it. That's how you use uh, Studio Double plugins with Ableton Live. So let's just review. Um, what we did is we started a Ableton Live project. Um, we made sure we went into the preferences. Uh, we made sure that the audio interface was selected. Uh, we made sure our latency was down below 10 milliseconds. We then went to the um, file folder tab and we made sure that we turned on use audio units plugins if it isn't already turned on. We then hit this record enable button on um, the track and then we double clicked on the uh, Studio Double plugin to insert it on the track and we got that by first clicking on this little plugin icon, pulling up the list, opening up the Studio Double folder and then double clicking on it. Okay great, so at this point we can now close and we can save this project and in this case we're going to call it um, Studio Double Ableton Live and we can save that onto the desktop so that the next time when we have to use um, Studio Double with Ableton Live we can just double click on this icon and we're ready to rock. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video that concludes our tutorial of using Studio Double plugins with Ableton Live. I hope this uh, helped answer your questions and please remember to visit StudioDouble.com uh, to download the latest versions of our guitar amp modeling plugins. Thanks.